have reaffirmed again and again that the United States is not and never will be at war with Islam. Islam teaches peace. And when it comes to America and Islam, there is no us and them. There is only us because millions of Muslim Americans are part of the fabric of our country. So we reject any suggestion of a clash of civilizations. The president during his otherwise tough speech rallying the world to war, making the point before the United Nations that it is not Islam that the United States wants to fight, but the homicidal maniacs also known as ISIS. But did his conciliatory remarks about Islam go too far in softening his message, as some critics like my friend and colleague Eric Bowling suggest? Eric's here along with Nihad Awad, another friend, the executive director of CARE, the Congress of American Islamic Relations. Gentlemen, welcome both. So, Eric, how did the president blunt his remarks with that Well, I, I think any time we were waiting, the, the, the America was waiting, the world, the coalition was waiting for the president on the U.N. Uh, platform to say we are at war with radical Islam. We're still waiting to hear that. We, we want to hear him say we are at war with terrorism. But he won't bring himself to say that. So it, it, it softens the message for what reason? So that, um, you know, gentlemen like Mr. Awad are, are okay with the message? Look, there are radical Islamists that want to kill us. We need to send the message loud and clear that we won't take it and we are at war with you. And for, for some reason, the president doesn't want to say we're at war with terror because then he would have to probably go to Congress and declare war on a group, ISIS or a group. He just will not do that. Stick, uh, Mr. Awad, let's stick with what Eric said about the president's uh, need to declare war against radical Islam. How did the president's remark resonate with you, and does uh, Eric have some uh, justification to make the statements he did? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, the president was right uh, to uh, give these remarks, and we issued a statement applauding him uh, for being balanced, for being positive, and also for sending a message of reconciliation and assuring the Muslims uh, in, in the United States around the world and around the world that the United States is not at war with the religion of Islam because there are millions of Muslim Americans living here. There are thousands of people serving the armed services uh, of the United States, but also there's a freedom of religion in the United States. So the, mes the message was correct. However, also there is nothing called radical Islam. Islam is one religion. There is no like radical Christianity and Christianity. There is one Christianity. So, so however, Mr. Awad, Mr. Awad, however, so you, however okay, I hate to jump on. in. I'm sorry, Geraldo, but so you're going to say there's there's no you, you don't distinct there's no distinction between radical Islam and Islam. So therefore, all these these what I would call radical. Uh, Islam, Islamists who are killing, beheading Americans and French and whomever else, British, those are the same people who uh, worship the same way you do? Okay, I, I was, I was going to continue to say that there is one religion and the overwhelming majority of Muslims follow the peaceful tradition and teachings of Islam like myself and 1.5 billion people around the world. However, there are radicals, there are terrorist uh, groups and individuals do, do, who do not represent our faith or our communities, and they have been resoundedly denounced and condemned by all of us, including in the letter that we have issued, an open letter to the leader uh, and, 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 uh, and um, uh, soldiers of ISIS, telling them that every they do is in direct violation of the teachings of Islam. So what, I do not what, deny so that. What, what about Hamas? Radicals. What about Hezbollah? Do you do you uh, okay? Do you, do you, do you uh, uh, push uh, back uh, on hold, Hamas? Hold on, Eric. Oh, Nihad, um, hold, hold on a second. Let me let me let me ask a, a different, maybe more constructive question. I have many Muslim friends. Many of them profess to me their extreme embarrassment, uh, their their hurt over some of the excesses like this beheading, like this horrible conduct, killing the Iraqi soldiers who are captured and Syrian soldiers who are captured. You, you can't deny that this has had a very negative impact. Doesn't it, doesn't it hurt you as well as the other, the vast majority of Muslims who are law-abiding and peaceful people? Uh, absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach uh, to to having uh, to hear uh, the, this uh, beheading uh, uh, crime in in Oklahoma and the others. It has nothing to do with the faith. They can be criminals, but they cannot point to any verse in the Quran uh, or any prophetic tradition that encourage people to kill or harm the innocent people.
Is there or is there not a war, a clash of civilizations here? Nahad, you first. The, absolutely, there is no war among civiliz civilization. The human civilization is one. There is a clash of extremists here. Those who try to propagate us versus them, uh, either them or us, they don't live on this planet. They're trying to, to exploit fear, fear mongering, and, 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 and incite wars. War okay. clash of uh, civilization? Uh, no, no, there's not a clash with, with uh, our civilization with, uh, or even religions. There are 1.5 or 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. If one one percent of them, that's 13 million, are radical. And if one percent of those 13 million are radical enough to kill you, that's uh, 130,000 radical Muslims that want to kill us. If, 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 if we realize where the funding for that comes from other forms, other areas of Islam, then we cut that off, and I think that's what you need to do. You have to leave it there. Eric Bowling, thank you very much. Nihad Awad, again, when you're in New York, please stop in.